popular influencer and relationship expert Blessing Okoro, aka Blessing CEO, announced a release from Kirikiri following her arrest after spending 20 solid days in detention just as news began circulating that she could not meet her bail conditions and would spend time in detention until May 30. The content creator quickly announced a release and comeback on social media. According to Sahara reporters, a lawyer, Prince I Wanfuru, confirmed a release. Regardless, Blessing CEO's social media activities of posting videos from different times back to back have resulted in some people suspecting the video dump activities. While others question if she is truly out as she claimed, others demand she goes live on one of her social media platforms to prove that she is out of prison. On March 30, the mother of one was arrested and arraigned on a six-count charge, including libel, cyberbullying, and exhibition of uncensored movies. After using her Instagram page to defend Ikechuku Ogbona, also known as IVD, who was accused of being responsible for his wife, Bimbo Ogbona's gruesome exit, the 33-year-old influencer was slammed with a bail condition of 10 million naira, which he bragged was a piece of cake after paying for beauty that cost her 5 million in 2022 alone. Well, it didn't take long for Blessing CEO to become the joke on social media over a near-impossible bail condition. People mocked her for bragging about dating millionaires and advising followers to do the same, only to be abandoned in jail by a wealthy boyfriend and millionaire client. Others laughed at her for using her life savings to get a BBL when she could be saving for a legal emergency. Why was the influencer abandoned in jail by the man she was defending and seemingly dating? Was the bail conditions near impossible? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Look at me. Mwa kama or a speck and more. If there is any social media influencer who has always been a magnet for trouble, that would be controversial Instagram influencer Blessing Enkiruka Okoro, popularly known as Blessing CEO. One too many times, the divorcee has been caught and arrested for telling bogus lies that would even shock the devil. One such time was in May of 2019 when the loquacious influencer tried to pass off someone else's seven-bedroom newly built duplex as hers. After announcing a win and congratulations showered on her, Nigerians woke up one morning to a whipping blessing in handcuffs after the actual owner of the house got her arrested. That's it. This house does not belong to, belong to me. Who does this house belong to? Oh, yes, who? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. What did you do that made them to ask you to say the owner of the house? I recently came here to take a picture. You recently came here to take a picture? Yes, sir. This incident resulted in Paul Okoye of Peace Square using a story to tell people to stop living a fake life. You work by yourself, living fake life with a local. Calm down. One would think the entrepreneur learned a lesson then. After the gruesome passing of Bimbo Ogbona in October of 2022 following a fire accident, the housewife's family accused the husband, IVD, a famous car dealer, of being responsible. Sharing evidence, Bimbo's family claimed Bimbo was a victim of domestic abuse and the fire injuries that led to her was sustained during another of many domestic violence episodes at the hands of her husband. Instead of letting the police do their job, Blessing CEO became an investigative journalist overnight claiming IVD was not responsible for Bimbo's tragic exit and she ended it all herself. According to the relationship expert, Bimbo was the violent partner in the marriage, not IVD. Also, Blessing CEO claimed that she has proof that Bimbo said she wanted to end it all for a very long time. The self-acclaimed relationship expert then shared a voice note from someone she alleged was Bimbo's childhood friend to solidify her claims that Bimbo has always tried to harm herself. Further, the entrepreneur alleged that IVD was a weak man and everyone in the neighborhood knew it, explaining that he tried to leave the marriage many times but Bimbo always begged him to come back. The relationship expert didn't stop there. She alleged that the late Bimbo was like a mother who drove her husband away over her abuse and violent nature. Further, she alleged that the late Bimbo family were scheming to end IVD's life and take over his properties, even at that Bimbo's sister was not in good terms with her at the time of her passing. This same IVD, suddenly he has a problem. All of you are shouting, mind your business, mind your business. You people need to be careful about people that you call friends. I'm so shocked when people were calling me and telling me, blessing, are you related to IVD? 
Fans, celebrities, and even trolls want Blessing CEO against publishing attacks on other platforms and to retract them, apologize, and let the authorities do their job. But she didn't listen. Instead, rumors about a romance with IVD began to fly on New Year's Day. At the time, the influencer started talking about a new mystery man in her life who was not just good to her but tattooed a name on his hand. When people asked that she clears the air, the mother of one said she owed no one an apology. Do you even think if I have something to do with IVD, it's supposed to be a public affair? It's my private life. When you are a public figure, people want to go into your privacy. I don't owe the public that explanation whether it's IVD or it's anybody. I don't owe the public my private life. I only owe the public content. I'm not supposed to put out my private life in public, she said. The content creator also clarified that she would never apologize for statements she made about the late Bimbo and her family, even though Bimbo's family promised to deal with her. Finally, on March 30, 2023, the chicken came to roast. The entrepreneur got arrested for alleged cyberbullying, libel, and exhibition of uncensored movies. Days before, IVD was also arraigned for the manslaughter of his late wife, Bimbo. Rodshang Dimka, the prosecution counsel, told the court that Blessing used her Instagram page to bully, threaten, and harass Folashade Samuels, sister to the late Bimbo Ogbona, wife to IVD. Dimka also said Blessing deployed her Instagram handle to injure the reputation of Folashade Samuels and the late Bimbo Ogbona by exposing them to hatred, contempt, and ridicule. Initially, the influencer thought she would be out in no time and bragged to her millions of fans. She told them to keep calm and that she was okay, but it soon became more complicated after her bill conditions were spelled out. Apart from the 10 million naira bill slammed on her head, Blessing CEO was to produce two shorties to provide a 10 million naira bond with each statement of account, passport photographs, affidavits, and current utility bill. One of the shorties must have a land document registered with the Lagos state government and in a chosen area, and the content creator is to provide a passport with an affidavit or she'll stay in detention until the end of May 2023. Blessing CEO is among the many influencers that boast of being rich on the gram. In November 2022, she bragged about acquiring a new backside for over 3 million naira. Fans can only wonder how much she pays monthly for maintenance of the backside, but the influencer has always clarified that she rolls with the big guns and her boyfriend is very rich. In 2021, she bragged about copying herself a 500 million naira house in Enugu state. To prove that it is accurate and not fake like the previous time, she gave popular media personality Dean Relay a tour of a house when he visited her. Let's march into the mansion. Uh, the mansion we don't Hey! Um, this is the kid. Hey! Um, this is the kid. Hey! Um, this is the kid. Hey! 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 For someone who like about this, all this, the Nigerians thought Blessing CEO would not have to spend a night in jail after she was granted bail. Sadly, it looks like the influencer could not meet the bail conditions. Her wealthy friends didn't come through for her. IVD, who she is reportedly romancing, also abandoned her as reports of them unfollowing each other on Instagram went viral. Well. Can you blame a man who is already in a bigger soup and trouble? Blessing fans also kept asking about her but didn't bother starting a GoFundMe. Perhaps Blessing's initial attempt at pretending she wasn't in jail didn't help. The relationship therapist tried to convince fans that she was out of jail but her inability to attend her regular Facebook and Instagram live sessions gave her up. In no time, the 33-year-old became the laughing stock on social media as people wondered how she could afford a backside of 5 million but could not afford 10 million naira, even among old rich friends. Some people also mocked her for being abandoned by IVD who they claim only used her to repair his reputation. 
After 20 days in jail and as reports about her still in prison began to go viral, Blessing CEO on April 20 announced a return on social media. Posting this video of her in a sexy red dress, she told fans to use it to hold body. The relationship therapist also bragged about being a child of grace and promised to tell a story soon. Child of grace. Thank you lovers. Words fail me. My hands are still shaking. Long speech coming. She wrote, dropping these photos. While the single mother is still putting her story together, she told fans that the heart-wrenching experience changed her and made her grow closer to God as she prayed day and night to survive prison. Since then, Blessing CEO has been posting back-to-back -back on all her media platforms. However, some fans ask her to go live while others claim she is still in prison and lied that she has been released. Others claim a team quickly organized for someone to handle her social media pages. Could this be true? What do you think about Blessing CEO's arrest and her inability to meet the bill charges? Is this a sign that she's still living a fake life or that she spent all her savings on getting a BBL instead of saving it for a rainy day? Do you think the relationship expert arrest has tanked over whatever relationship she has with IVD? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.